Use it wide. Also told to use it here is Tom O'Toole. Hands off. Is it Chukwu? Great defending by the Bulls, as you'd yep. expect. Enormously big men. Away, Blue. Still Ulster back to the line. Doak. No hands! Uh, no. Ulster still have the ball in possession, but the whole thing slowed down a little bit. A little sidestep by Nick Timoney wearing the number eight jersey. On the line, Blues. Dave McCann, a rare appearance in a number seven jersey. And Ulster still battering away at this Bulls line at the War Memorial end. Marshall Kutsi has to get himself out of it. Is it Chukwu looking for his first Ulster try? Up, My word, he's close. On the line, Blue. O'Toole is waiting. Advantage. Referee's given a penalty. Ulster at least will get the three points, I'm pretty sure. What a good spell of pressure, but what a good bit of defending by the Blues. Yeah, brilliant defence by the Bulls, I think. Ulster showed great patience in the forward, but as we're looking down, Jim, we can see the frustration of the outside backs. Well, the three easy points have been spurned. Tom Stewart has a goal, and he's got over! My word, he does it every single time! People might have questioned the decision not to go for the post and not to go for the straightforward three points. Alan O'Connor gambled, and he played his ace, and that man, Tom Stewart, what a try! Yeah, he does so well, so basic, but I think teams have now created so many uh, trick plays off the tap penalty that the Bulls reacted to a slight dummy to Tom O'Toole outside, and he managed to break through the first tackle and score under the post. So great work by Tom Stewart, proving that they made the right decision about tapping and going and not taking the three in. And this ambitious rugby from Ulster, this ambitious mindset, is exactly what the fans want, and it's exactly the kind of rugby that the players enjoy playing. One of the easiest kicks he'll ever have in his career, but very important. Two more points, and uh, ten minutes gone, and Ulster leading by seven yeah, points yeah. to nil, and deservedly so. Yeah. Ulster defending on, very strongly. Little cross-field kick gathered in by Balakoon. Here goes Balakoon. Now, he's fiercely quick. Oh, wonderfully done by Balakoon. James Hume, what a clever kick that is. It needs to sit for Ulster, and it is going to sit for Ulster. And the Bulls have got to go back, and they haven't found touch. The find Will Addison on halfway. He's got loads of men out wide. The crowd are urging him to use them. And he's kicked to the corner. That's nicely done. Here come Ulster. Well gathered. Oh, very close to being well gathered in by Ulster. But well covered by uh, Sebastian de Klerk for the Bulls. What a great piece of play that was. And what inventiveness by this Ulster side. Marcel Kutsia, an Ulster player for five years, gets away from his own line. The Bulls go to ground, they will be mightily relieved. There was a huge and chance there of an Ulster try should... Uh, well, Alison, maybe we'll discuss that Outside. in a moment, have given that a little bit earlier rather than kick. And that's fine touch. Yeah, good option for Papier to put that into touch under huge pressure. Brilliant work with Balakun, Jim taking it one-handed um, and snuffing at the danger. And as you said, if Will Anderson gets that back, I think in his mind he'll uh, he, he, he would pass it but brilliant work with Balakin. he doesn't die with the ball he knows what he's trying to do Hume does the right thing putting it down and getting the chase on with Nathan Duke who's actually his work great this evening has been lovely but I think if Addison can just do that also probably have about a 7 on 3 and it's just very unlucky for Possway it doesn't quite bounce up oh cleverly done out to Stewart here he goes for a second bundled over still going wonderful turn of pace by Stewart wonderful sleight of hand as well at the front here come Ulster again, looking for try number two. This is good work by the men in white. Men in blue threatening to get themselves offside. Ulster driving forward. Six metres to go. Right underneath the post now, Doak switches direction. Here goes Dave Ewers. Well taken on by uh, Ruan Fermach. Doak again. His linking has been terrific. Ends off now, Blue. Blue told to get their hands away from it. Again. Good work by, by Ulster. It was Nick Timoney. Stewart yet again. Dope thought about changing direction. Keeps going the same way. James Hume is bundled to the ground. To it. By his opposite number, Creel. Jude Possilway. Doke again. This is great stuff by Ulster. Doke. Oh, well taken by Will Addison. Looked like a bit of a tackle around the collar. Here goes Izzy Chukwu. Big, strong fella. Can he get it back, though, between his legs? He can't. 
There it is. Duke. Andy Warwick goes into assist. On the line, Blue. On the line, ball is still in. Referee telling the Blues nice. to get back onto the line. Not sure that they've done that. Okay, ball is clearly here. Stay blue. Stewart. Ball inside, ball inside. Well picked up by Burns. Nicely done. Here's Addison. Another Good work by blue. the Blues skipper. Little pop pass from O'Connor to his second row partner. Call Mike is it Chuk with Duke again. Great pressure by Ulster. Oh, two run, a little bit dummy run. And yet. somehow the Bulls have come away with it. And this could be dangerous because the Bulls have a vast amount of pace here. Well covered back by James Hume. What a retreat and well away to Jacob Stockdale. Now he needs a, a little bit of help. And I think he's got it. Yes, he has. Guys. Duke has a wee glance Lose to it. see what's available on the open side. Not sure that he wants to kick into space. Good counter rocking nice by the Bulls right. have made life very difficult for Nathan Duke and they've stolen it. That's where Elrich Lowe has pinched it. Well, what a game this is turning out to be, one end or the other. Here comes Kutsia. You jumped, you jumped away, White. Husan. Oh, that's lovely. It must be a try, surely they can't fail to score here. They did have an overlap and Ulster have closed it down. Yeah, 15. Stay. Referee's got the handout for a penalty, I think, against Will Addison. Juan Norgia. You have advantage, Blue. Marcel Kutsia bulls it up to the Ulster line, no pun intended. Stay wise, Captain. Papier, Houston. Little dummy by the vastly experienced Cornell Hendricks. There you are. Krobelar waits, change of direction. Hendricks gets clattered for his pains. Put another. Yeah. And they want to come back yeah, for the penalty. I don't think the Bulls will be kicking yeah, for the 15. post, do you? No, I don't think so, Jim. I think Will Addison's getting Number a yellow card guys. as well for cynically killing the ball from offside. That's not a good throw. And away goes Dave Ewer, is my word. It's Nick Timoney, in fact. And Nick Timoney's giving it some. Up and over the halfway line, he's got to keep the ball alive, and he has done. Don't get it away. Lovely pass by McCann. Here comes Izzy Chukwu. Now give it, Izzy. O'Toole gets it away. Now it wasn't the worst pass in the world. Well gathered in by Izzy Chukwu. And Ulster having been on the attack, I now find hands. themselves defending, but they still have the ball. McCann, who's been very busy this evening, playing in, as an open side flanker. Oh, Pull look out. at that sheer physicality by the men in blue. Ulster still have it, though. That's their own 10-metre line. On the line, blue. Use it! Well, Johan Krobelar will not, uh, will not like that. <laughs> Penalty Sorry. against the Bulls co-skipper. Stewart takes his time. And again, it's uh, McCann at the front. Doak has to check a little bit. Burns. Jacob Stockdale comes in field and puts a bit of muscle into it. That's nicely done. Here they come again, Stewart thunders up to the 22. Doak again, better by Ulster, nicely done by Years. Lovely sidestep, here comes Nick Timoney on the charge. Better stuff from the boys in white. Half a chance here, great work by Tom O'Toole, looking very muscular. Years, what characteristic, rather bent back. Referee's given a penalty against the Bulls and he's playing advantage to Ulster. Stewart flips it out wide. Stewart gets it away well, stuck in it in the corner. Oh, he did it last week and he's done it again. Two tries in Parma and one try here in Belfast. And Jacob Stockdale seems to be returning to the old Jacob Stockdale that set the world alight a few seasons ago. Signs of stand up for the Ulster and ringing round and they have to be right on the money here. Krobelar into James Lowe, but the first tackle was by Stewart. Referee telling us the defender not to pull the man in blue. Great pressure once again coming on the other side. Oh, over they go. And it's the loose head prop, Wilco Lowe, who saw a bit of a gap. Wonderful early drive by his skipper, Marcel Cossier, and he was backing up wonderfully. Yeah, very disappointing for Ulster. You can see that, obviously, also compounding errors. They, they lost the line out, and then there was a, a bad missed tackle in midfield, Jim, that gave the Bulls the momentum, got over the gain line. Ulster last week's 
they, they lack any big, big hitters on the game line. Also, they've, they've won most of the collisions this evening, so just there, it just shows when you're off the money slightly what happens, and unfortunately for Ulster, that's seven points and brings the Bulls back into the game. And, and as we see Will Allison walking back on, Ulster we disappointed to have conceded that just before half time. Great tackle by Dave Ewers. Houston looking for a wee gap. Oh, he's found it. Wonderful stuff. And here comes Lowe looking for a second try. Be thrown out of the front row union if he gets it. The Bulls only two metres away. Options on both sides. Marcel Kutzea looking for the score. Great work by the, the Bulls side. And also desperate to hang on to them. And they've just about managed it. Oh, it's been held up short and they've faded on the ground. That should be left alone by the, by the Bulls. Pick, uh, pick up and drive once again. Bulls very much back in this game, having gone 14-0 down. This surely must be a try. They've meant to spare. That's gone wide, and in they go. Nicely done. Touchdown, nice and easy, by Sebastian de Klerk. And the Bulls just almost back on level terms. Yeah, that's hugely frustrating for Ulster and the coaching staff. With five, four or five minutes to go in the half, they're winning 14-0 comfortably, and now Bulls, fair play. They've been given two opportunities, and they've taken two tries. At least from Ulster's point of view, hopefully with the touchdown conversion, it might be a little bit harder, but good accuracy from the Bulls. Again, Jim, they've come with a mindset of they're setting up and they're trying to find get their bigger runners onto Ulster's smaller defenders. So Billy Burns has had to make a huge number of tackles, even, which he's making, but just they're getting over the game line and then again playing okay, with well, fast foot uh, football, and so they're putting Ulster's defence under huge pressure. Struck it nicely, that's not going to come in. So, no conversion for Johan Husen, who got nine out of nine last week. Also, two tries. The Bulls, one try, but the difference between them is uh, a Nathan Doak conversion. Tom O'Toole at the back in front of him, the new man, Marcus Ray. That's a good take by big Harry Sheridan. In the five. Bulls have got a bit of a squeeze on Ulster, conceded about a metre, but they're trying to regroup. Tom Stewart has it tucked in. I think he may have to give it. No, he hasn't decided to give it. He's taken it on himself and gets across the 22. It'll pop up to Tom O'Toole, who's been rumbustious thus far, and sets it up nicely. Andy Warwick. That's a penalty against the Bulls. Nathan Doak just to the right of the Bulls' post. And he's put the ball right between the Bulls' post and also get the first points of this second half. And if it lives up to the first, it'll be a great spectacle. Ulster now leading by 17 points to 12. Two converted tries and a penalty. Two conversions and a penalty from that man, Nathan Doak. Oh, wonderful check by the experienced Anne O'Connor. Burns, Postle Witt. Can't quite get it away. It does get it away this time, though. And here goes Ulster. This is good stuff. Jacob Stockdale's away, and what can he do? The sidestep, Stockdale, magnificent by Stockdale. Needs a wee bit of help, and quickly, if they move at this side, they might be in, or pick up and drive down the middle. That was the Potter who took the advantage himself. The referee's given the penalty, it's gone wide, lovely stuff from Addison. Here come Ulster again. Good pick up, and they'll come all the way back for the penalty. But what a lovely piece of play by Ulster, and by Jacob Stockdale. Nizam Carr is going to be coming on for the Bulls in the back row. Vastly experienced, of course, long field of time in uh, playing with Wasps. Meanwhile, Nathan Doak makes it 100% and takes Ulster up to 20. There's uh, eight points between them. Thought about slipping the ball to O'Toole, but he doesn't. Marcus Ray puts the head down. Doak changes direction. Deliberate knock forward, methinks, but it was an offside before that. It's quite a long way out, and the rain really coming belting down. Will that? Will that put him? Will that put him off? Doak strikes it right-footed. Oh, up go the flags, and Doak has landed again. And Doak has now scored 13 of Ulster's points, and Ulster with 16 minutes to go. I brought on Callum Reid, but they're leading in by 23 points to 12. Tight head side. Not sure about the, the Bulls bind. Here goes Carr for the line. He's held up two meters short. Still pick up and drive. He hasn't got it down, has he? His referee is right there. And he's going to have a look at it. I think it's a 
try, Jim? I think he's got that down. So the try stands to somewhat muted or negative applause, and the conversion is good. Well, that's a decent kick underneath. It's Rob Balakoon, well taken by Balakoon. And away he goes. Oh, good support by Balakoon. Great leg pump. Blues player on the way. Here comes Timoney. Even a little penalty would do Ulster nicely. Surely they're going to get one. Yes, they are. Ulster face a big line out. Oh, and that's why that's what happened. Away go Van der Merve. Berger tries to break through. In fact, that's number 22, Smith. Eight minutes to go. One breakaway try. Could steal this from Ulster, who've led right from the word go, from the, very, from the ninth minute until now. And use it. Bill's playing a, a fairly stolid, forward orientated game, and they've given away a penalty. They have given away a penalty at a crucial place and at a crucial time. Oh, it's a belter. It's a gem. A discussion between the George Skipper Ruan Nordke. And Chris Smith pops it into the corner. TMO was having a little look at something, but now it's play on. Well taken by the Bulls. Here they come. And what a drive, a counter drive by Elster. Here come the Bills again. They're so close, they're only about a half a metre out. That's gone backward, it may well have gone forward. That's been pinched by Elster. It's been stolen by Dave McCann, who's got in there, and Dave McCann has pinched it for Elster. One minute remaining. In fact, less than one minute remaining. Just a couple of seconds remaining. Ulster have to get it up and away, and down to earth they go, and the white forwards pile in. They've got to get it back and get it into touch. The Bulls coming through illegally. Referee's got the hand out for a penalty, I think, against them. There's McCann, who did wonderfully to steal it, and he's making progress again. Not much, but it doesn't really matter. Ball coming back on the Ulster side. Burns says to Nathan, don't get it away. And he does get it away. And somehow, somehow, against all that pressure, against probably one of the beefiest sides they'll ever come up against, Ulster have held on. What a steal by Dave McCann, who must have been right up there in contention for man of the match. But that's the man who got the man of the match, Tom O'Toole. Well, I'm sure he's delighted he's come back from Irish duty to play for Ulster, who've embraced him over the years. Last moment or two, Marcel Casilla picked it up, and look at McCann, totally disregarding his own health or welfare, and he stole that, and the Bulls spilled it yet again, and there was McCann went in, and the ball was out, so he wasn't doing anything too illegal, despite what the Bulls thought, and the referee eventually blew the whistle, and Ulster have played two and won two, and this was as hard-fought a win, Ian, as Ulster will ever have.